a Nations Cup $30,000 event, you guys know. It's Arabia, and we're on Tyrant Riot's point of view. He's playing as a Oh, hum. Chris, sorry. Yeah. Your overlay is still on, I think. Oh, don't. It's off now. Okay, so... <laughs> He is, he is the Hun flank in the south here for Brazil A, and he's facing Fiat, and I can tell you right away this is gonna be interesting to watch here, this duel. Oh, and um, they are so close. They're yeah. so close to each other. They are really close, and they are both Huns. Uh, let's check. Oh, and boar stealing already. <laughs> and a boar steal. Which didn't work out. Yep. Fiat is there. Tried to steal Riot's boar, and as you can see, they are really close. The boars, actually, this is half a screen. Uh, yeah, there will be a lot of action here. Let's check the other flank. That would be Fire playing in green as Mongols, and he is up against uh, Miguel or LOS only Rook here, uh, playing as the Celts. Uh, let's check the pockets. In red, we have Goku playing also as Celts, and we have. Stark playing as the mains here in orange. Then pocket for Brazil B, that is Wrath, mains in teal. And second pocket Dogao in purple playing as the Mongols. Uh, Interesting no one picked the Spanish, right? Do you usually mm -hmm. see the Spanish uh, for their team team bonus? And both chose to enforce for the Celts. Yeah. Kind of surprising. Yeah, uh, and what, what I... Th make of that is um, that it shows aggression. If you take Spanish, you want to rely on a good trade in the late game. And if you don't take Spanish, like you take Chinese, Celts, another Sif, uh, you want to be aggressive. So it's it's promising already and it is a good game. I have Dude, seen... It's, it's just somehow surprising that they both went for the same, same option. Uh, or maybe was this... I'm need to look on the settings again. Was you know, this, um... yeah, two, two players have to go team random and two players have to go ah, random okay. saves. So if, if they play it smart, let's say, one team takes Mayans and Huns and the other team takes, uh, I don't know what, other Sivs, Mongols and whatever, then it could be a perfect mirror. Um, so I see what you mean, yeah. You, you can a little bit abuse like the idea that was intended to randomize it a little, but um, that's still fine. They have the same chances. Okay. Well, and we still got Celts, which is uh, somehow not standard from what we have seen so yep. far. So I guess that yeah. it turned out okay. Yeah. Question from the chat. Yes, this is a replay from yesterday. Uh, we wanted to check how it's going on. Hitbox, uh, and we were all three on TeamSpeak, so we decided, yeah, just give it a go and see how everything works. All right, so, yeah. And I was just uh, reading a little bit the chat. Yeah, we did send a broadca broadcast out for all Wobbly. So yeah, if you know any people who likes to watch AOC and is a regular viewer of Google Official, do feel free to tell them to join us here. Test hitbox. Which as we have heard from Jeanette, he's liking it. If our tech genius likes it, then it's already a nice nice start here. I think everyone likes it so far. Gentle likes it, Tough likes it, um who was it? Nick. Uh you know the UK EF player likes it. Um it's it's amazing. The delay is lower, the quality is better. Twitch just came first, apparently. So they are weak <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, yeah. But Twitch is better, if you look at the, the facts. Sorry, hitbox. Um, okay, it is minute eight, so time for the first militia. Um, Fiat coming in with two, and his scout, which is on only 10 HP. Third militia. And Riot is just garrisoning his first two militia, sending them out. Oh, he doesn't have loom. He needs to watch out. He yeah. doesn't have any loom. Yeah. Fast wall here at the mill. 
Well, I guess they, they realized it, obviously, they are so close to each other, so going scout is not really an option, since you can start uh, attacking so fast with a Drush. Because yeah. you, you do see scouts with Hans from time to time. And you even see VH4 militia now, oh, he's going all mm -hmm. in on this, it seems. Yeah. What Ross said yesterday, that it is becoming um, common amongst like 2k2 and like above players to actually get ex exactly one militia more than your enemy. Uh, because it's just 60 food, 20 gold, and you get a nice advantage with it. Yeah. That's right, yeah, then you, lead, you need to micro less, maybe, or you have that psychological advantage, anyway. You have, you have almost a guarantee to win the fight, yeah. You can see, these are actually... Well, people don't see it on the stream, but these are high-tension moments. You see, they pulling their armies forth and back all the time, yeah. avoiding each other. Make sure they don't uh, choose a bad position to start fighting. And uh, in, in many skirmishes like this one for example you can see that the pings between the players were actually really good right they were all from brazil obviously and they had good pings here in, the, in these matches so it was really a uh, pleasure yeah 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 riot has now loom so he's not afraid to leave those villagers collecting the bushes and if he vh comes too close he's going to start attacking with them Meanwhile, you see huge walls already going up on the Brazil B team. Kind of a team wall already. Only Miguel is somehow left out. The team wall. Question from Richard. Yes, uh, Vubli official on Twitch is only live to let people know. That is the only purpose right now. Um, okay, still here. A trench war between Ryut and Fiat. Let's see what's happening on the other side. Um, Fire got some scouts out. Uh, he's not really walled. Behind him, Goku though is fully walled. Um, he's killed, getting a market. Uh, no blacksmith, so that uh, is definitely here going to be a sling from Kelts. Scouts obviously get a nice eco bonus with the wood. Um, Kelsling, a new thing for me at least. Okay then, uh, the other pockets. Wrath is uh, pretty much walled and he's forming a wall here together with Dogao, so those two are really safe. Probably slinging. And Stable coming up with three villagers here from Riot. Blacksmith straight away. It's minute 1320, so this could be an, an okay uh, cast late. Meanwhile, fire yes. with the scouts is running in circles. Yes. Yeah, I've seen Brazil A team doing this. Uh, the Mongol guy, well, the flanks at least, uh, do scouts to see what what everyone is doing. Mm -hmm. um, because many of them are usually uh, occupied in walling right from the start, right? So they need to see yeah. what's going on on the other side. Yeah, to get the information Ooh. in. And exactly. The first tribute came in here from, let me check, that was Goku. So red here, the Celt is slinging gray or black here on my minimap. Uh, so that's a sling from one side of the map to the other. Uh, yes, sounds sounds uh, dangerous to me because then fire is going to be two versus one, obviously. Sounds yeah. very dangerous to yeah. me. Fire will be on his own um, with Goku slinging Ryut, definitely. And the uh, Brazilian B, uh, B team, yeah, looks like uh, Raf is going to be the one slinging. Uh, Fiage would be my guess, he would sling, as with Hans uh, and their fast stables. Yeah, I'm gonna change the point yeah. of view to Fiat. Just waiting. But yeah, it's, it is actually like that. Wrath is gonna sling Fiat. Two stables. Yeah, it makes from sense, yeah. Yeah, third stable going off for, for, for uh, Fiat now. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, here we are.
Oh Jesus, I selected Fire's point of view. But uh, you were right, he's running all along the walls here from Brazil B and flaring weak spots. So let's go to uh, Fiend. Yeah, so that's something that they have done done before. They walk around the map and choose for weak spots to eventually try to break the, the walls. Okay, so knights are queued immediately. Let's see what Riot is doing there. Also three stables, very similar. And Fiat chooses to go right away for the monastery as well. Which can mm. be very, very important on this kind of heavy knight fights. Yeah. Because the, the, actual, the actual fact that your monk stays behind and heals your knights, even he, if he doesn't convert, he can still heal them. Yeah. And at a rather fast speed. No, and also a, a conversion is much more valuable than a kill, right? It is basically worth two enemy units. Exactly, that's like a boar steal, so to speak. <laughs> you you give uh, you have one more, and your opponent's one less. Okay, Fiat going around. On the other side, not happening too much. Fire, with two ranges and a couple of farms, not up yet. Let's see, this is gonna be a, a hard time, I guess, for Fire. Let's see how he manages to defend. As you can see, Dogon going two stables. Um, two stables, Mongols, and obviously Miguel coming with the Expos. Gonna be a hard time for Fire, I reckon, to defend from two people. Um, Fiat is hitting the goal now. Not bad, one villager down. Yeah, Riet uh, chose... Uh, that's Do not villages. wall, almost, yeah, you see, no walls at all on Riot's base. Mm. And Fiat is, well, kind of walled up. Now he's even fully walled. Uh, is he gonna throw the knights away there? No, he got a villager and he might get out of there. Almost unscathed, nice one. Yeah, I, I asked that actually, I, I was asking, um, why would you wall if you get a sling, right? Because you will be so powerful anyway and uh, yeah the thing is fiat yeah. was walled as well right exactly <laughs> so. exactly even if you get slinged uh you get slung you should wall just to uh, be able to focus on the enemy because you want to do damage right no i mean in most Not cases so it's in most cases i think you're right you don't really need to wall because uh well usually it's a surprise anyway and uh, you will be the one attacking first. But in this case, his opponent was slung as well. Mm -hmm. so it, it was really a matter who starts hitting first. It is really similar. Um, just by the score, Fiat is on 2250. Ryut catching up fast. 2100 now. Yeah, catching up really fast. But Ryut's way behind on, on villager production. He's, uh, he's yeah. only one TC, I think. Yes, and Fiat Fiat is two already. The third one now, yeah. Fiat has more knights in that situation. Kind of an important fight. Fiat is bringing his monk as well. While Rio doesn't seem to have any yet, does he? Yeah, well, why did he get the monastery? He doesn't get monks out. Now let's see, now uh, now there's uh, Stark moving in with his plums. Only plus one attack, it's not gonna be maybe, I don't know, if he it's manages to snipe those monks, it's, it's very valuable. 18 knights for Ryut and 20 for Fiend, so more or less the same, but the plumes can really make a difference here. Indeed, he needs to snipe the monks for uh, first, I feel. Yeah, would be a good move, yeah. definitely. Ryot also has plus two, VH still doesn't have. Well, this could eventually be a nice fight for Brazil A. Let's see what happens with the coordination. Ah, Stark is not hitting the monks. Uh, they are far. Well, I Let's reckon, check. I don't know, looks to me like VH will win this because he managed to convert a few knights. There was two monks, yeah. So, if, if that changes right from 18 to 20 uh, into 
22 against 16, so yeah, that is a whole other story. Hard to say who won that. Uh, BH is backing off, but doesn't seem to have less than Riot at the moment. And I think the plumes are helping. They only have fletching, but I think they are still helping. I'm not sure if it's smart to move in now from Riot because he doesn't have many knights left. There's a town center firing. No, no fletching for the town center. No, but looks it's paying off for them. Riot now has uh, his own monks there as well. Looks like a one fight for Brazil A. Yeah. Yeah. They good, won these fights. Good fight, even under the town center. And now... Yeah, the town center doesn't have the plus, the, the attack upgrade, right? So yeah, Riot with his plus two is gonna survive them just fine. Yeah, plus two knights can stand the fire, no problem. On the other side, I don't know if you have been checking, uh, looks that they managed to delay fire a little bit, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it was enough. Some dead bodies there around the town center. I think it's it's the other way around. Fire is actually playing 2v1 really, and what he needs to do is to delay them, so to hold and survive as long as possible. Um, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but this is all also looks like a big win for Brazil A here, because they managed to kill the slung guy. So the guy who has been slung yeah. and should be uh, fighting for two is actually yeah. losing. Yeah. Dugao is booming hard. Um, five town centers. Um, he's going fast imperial and Mangudoi. No army yet, and Wrath is uh, slinging. He doesn't have anything, obviously. Uh, it's it's a question, obviously. Is that the best option? Because you can say that Dogon just uh, gave up his attack on fire and starts booming himself. But would would it be better to maybe kill fire as soon as possible, uh, like? Um, Riot and um, and Stark did, right? Because Fire will now, now be able to live a little bit longer because Dogon backed off on him. You, um, you know what I mean. Yeah, but I, I think it, it doesn't look bad. Miguel is constantly raiding here with crossbows, um, so delaying Fire a little, and Dogao, if he gets up to a pop 200 with Elite Mangudai, then that might be a problem. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, VH, uh, Fire still has TCs up, yeah? He has two TCs up, and VH will soon have two TCs less, at least, I yeah. would say. Maybe even three in a few minutes. VH is, is losing too much ground here, um, and again, I'm, I'm talking about walls. Uh, he should have stone walls, that's what I've seen most of the time. Um, if Even if you fail uh, when you're being slung, um, be stone walled, just to buy time and react here, Fiat died so fast. Well, I can agree with you, Celius. I, I, I think Dogan should have gone to fire to kill him as soon as possible. He chose to start booming. Well, let's see, let's see if that was the right decision. Yeah, Fiat, uh, what's his population? 50? Check the village account. 50, that is yeah, he's even lower than fire, which is the one being raided yeah. by two. He has TCs up. Uh, VH is, is keeping rebuilding his TCs. Uh, he's now gonna lose his third TC though. And many villagers will die here, I yeah, think. That's 10 because villages. of plums. Yeah, yeah because of plums from uh, Stark are there to uh, that's, block that's, their way. That's even more. Is that 15 villagers? Yeah, that's a fully garrison TC. So do the math. 46, 45 now, minus 15. That's not much population left. Yeah, you can see VH desperately trying to repair that TC. That's not gonna work no, out, man. <laughs> that bought him one second, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna work out, man. Anyway, stone walls all the way for Wrath now as well, obviously. Uh, VH maybe should have uh, started to build inside, right? He's building outside the team wall. Mm -hmm, true. That those TCs could go out any second as well. And there is a gate right next to his TC, so he could enter if he wanted. 
I wonder what Miguel is doing. Why is he walling and booming while he is a flank and, and should keep uh, fire in check? Uh, why is he so passive? Not sure. Yeah, yeah. I also feel he should be doing more pressure on uh, fire because he knows the pocket is, uh, is, is slinging and the other pocket is too busy on the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, so uh, he wouldn't be two v two. He wouldn't be two versus one, Miguel. I mean, that's what yeah. I mean. And and what I get is that with Celts, you wouldn't want to go heavy on archers, right? Celts archers suck against Mongols. Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. Yeah. And in the long run, you want your boat raiders. So he he maybe tried just to use his advantage, boom up, and get his boats out fast. But now. Yeah, fire is there and actually damaging him, even though he's he's way behind in economy. Yeah, what well, what we said just happened. Uh, those two TCs from VH yeah. outside the team wall were a mistake. He lost I don't know twenty yeah. more villagers in there. He's twenty pop now. Yeah, I'm still on this point huge, of view. It's a huge setback for Brazil A here. Okay, people are asking, did Dogal click up? Let's quickly check. He's are. Imperial, a long time ago, yeah. Yep. He's, he's long time ago Imperial. Ago Imperial. Yep. And here are the first Mankidoi, that is 9, behind the walls. And... What you can say as well, sorry Chris, that yeah. uh, Ruff stopped to slake, it looks to me. He's uh, has 4 TCs now, uh, 5 TCs he has on Castle Age. So he's trying to... Yeah, he needs to take the role of VH, right? Otherwise that side will die very fast. So he's trying to go up as soon as possible, I guess. Fire is doing an amazing job. He's like, as I said, behind and he's still harassing Miguel so much, killing villagers all over the place. I like it. And now let's see what Ryud is doing with his shed loads of knights there. Yeah, they just missed that wall for a few seconds. Miguel managed to close it just at the last second. There is still a, an opening, you see there. I think Miguel is gonna close it now. Mm. There is an opening on Miguel's base. Uh, yeah. Just where he's sending his villagers to cut the wood now. Between the cliff and the oh, forest. Oh, and, uh, yeah, and Riot is heading in that direction. Will he manage to get there on time? Ah, no, you know, he's, he's going back. He's going the other direction, yeah. Fire, getting up a castle there. And a gate from Miguel. Okay, so that gap is closed. Yeah, fire thought that uh, that was opening. He's uh, flaring Riot now, but Miguel has just managed to close it at the right time. Wrath is sitting behind uh, double stone walls, so no point really to start hitting with uh, Cavaliers now. We need siege here. Yeah, Riot needs to find a place to hit, obviously. Will they go inside that? I don't think Miguel is closing behind. Holding up behind. Uh, this is not a good fight from Dogong. Yeah, he needs to GP. It's elite blooms against normal Mangu dice. Mm -hmm. They have Bracer, but no chemistry yet. Not elite, as you said. Yeah, now they are elite. Okay. Well, yeah, I think pretty much Brazil A is has a uh, big advantage here. They managed to get one guy out of the game. VH is pretty much out of the game. And um, Fire didn't lose at all. He didn't die. He's pretty much still alive. So Fire uh, is on 100 villagers now. He's almost the same as uh, Miguel now. Uh, when he was okay, exactly. So the left side, which... The left side of the Brazilian B team, which was supposed to win, since only one guy was fighting from the from the uh, from Brazil A, didn't uh, didn't manage to win that side. Yeah. And now they're obviously a lot behind. That's what I meant with um, the stone walls earlier. If if he could hold on a little bit longer, then Riot would not be keeping Dogao busy, right? If Dogao could push out now with Mangudai and siege rams, then there would be some pressure, but now that it's Cavaliers running around uh, in, in Dogao's area, he, he can't get out of there really.
Paladins for Riot now. Thing is, a Raf is being able to boom at will. No one is gonna get in his base soon, because mm -hmm. there, there there are no ramps incoming from no one. So maybe let's let's see what happens. Uh, boomed for, Mayans, obviously. He's going for Eagle Warriors. Five barracks there in the south. If you're looking. For Eagle Warriors. I, I don't know, it? what do you feel about that? Oh no, no, wait, 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 um, it's gonna be Halbs and Plumes, second castle coming up and ah, yeah, yeah. Pikemen, yeah, my bad. Yeah, sounds a lot better to me, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, I, I think Ra yesterday said that um, in late Imperial he prefers Eagles, Mayan Eagles, but we'll have to see. Really, well, he would be facing Paladins and Elite Plums with their uh, uh, damage bonus. I'm not really sure what, what uh, Eagle Wars would do in this situation. Okay, now you see Ryut is actually chasing Dugao with Paladins, plus 4 defense. Uh, while Ryut is actually ill. on the other side, Dugao should be focusing on Fire and Goku. Fiat, I know it's mean to say, but just Titanic, uh, now it's pretty much 3 versus 4 there. He's on a four TCs now, though. He's he's he, uh, recovering fast. Of course, he's rebooming. Yeah, and this is um, the fourth place match of the Nations Cup. Of course, he's trying to reboom. Yeah. Oh, this, this could be Dajun's for Dogon here. He's going to be intercepted by those plums as well, and Paladins. Yeah, yeah. Dogon just deletes all his stuff to let his uh, Mango Dai go inside his base. Nice, nice reaction there. Fire is joining with a few Mangadai as well. So Dugao is really soon 3v1. Uh, what is Miguel doing, by the way? Is he not going votes? No, doesn't look like it. It's Halps, two trebuchets, targeting probably this castle later. And Onagers, probably Siege Onagers soon. Interesting one. Yeah, I guess. That's the I don't know I guess that's the fight the way to fight Mangudai right siege onagers mm -hmm. lots of siege onagers and halves looks like a nice nice way to fight Mangudai. Yeah, well I wouldn't go with raiders I don't know I don't know what you think but uh, I think but wood raiders will die very very fast to those Mangudai. Mm, Mongols get um, siege onager too and with. With Celts and here Miguel. Yeah, we do, but we weaker ones. Yeah, it's weaker than the the Celt ones. With well, if he does do the unique, uh, of course. The, the unique technology upgrade. Of course. Um, no, but Miguel had all the time in the world, and in on an open map, I would go for votes. On a closed map, obviously, the siege onagers, right? Um, we'll have to see what what Miguel is doing here with, with his combo. Dogar is being chased in his own base now. Let's check the trade. How is it looking? Uh, the first few cards for Brazil A. Not so. Yeah, Brazil much. B is yeah. not really trading now. I see yeah. four or five cards. Yes, definitely. Altogether. Yes. Okay, now take a look. Fire is um, running into the siege onagers from Miguel. And you see, with a little bit of micro. Can't kill. Oh yeah, looks like. Oh, uh, I well, you can you can see that uh, because Mongols need to shoot. Um, they need to shoot twice, yeah, to kill a. Uh, well, when they have the, the unique technology, yeah. which Miguel still doesn't have, yeah. but when they do, they need to shoot twice. A man, a man until ultimate dies. Yeah. A siege onager, I mean. It was. But Miguel still doesn't have the, that technology, so. Yeah. Nice shot from Fire, two for one trade, and now yeah, Fire is there, left with Mangadoy. Well, Miguel lost all. Wrath. You uh, see, just, Riot had to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same point, I guess. Yeah, I was saying Riot. Ha yeah, exactly. Uh, Riot had to back off a little bit uh, because he was fighting Mayas, Mayas alone with with uh, Hunt. Obviously difficult, but then. Uh, Park just joined him and now they will be eventually able to push Wrath back and even push on him. Yeah, Ryu is Many there. Many siege ramps for Ryu. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there, there's nothing Raf can do in this situation, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. it's... Uh, Stark has the same sieve, so same army. Yeah. It's 2v1, <laughs> it's hard. Halps and plumes still lose against paladins and plumes because it's too gold you need. Right? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. And obviously the And he's is not there. stopping. Yeah. Well, Dogong is trying to join now, but uh, yeah, he's not sending enough units first and then he's sending them through two separate ways, so that's kind of a waste of units. Yeah, because Mayans obviously don't have a, a way to stop siege ramps, so they, they they don't have nice siege onagers or anything. They have so those walls will go down very, very soon. Oh yeah, with these siege uh, ramps, they're gonna be quick. Let's check the other side again. Fire is holding, getting his own siege onagers. Yeah, just patrolling, getting the gold between Miguel. Few halps, four siege onagers. That's not too much. And to make it clear, yes, quick, you are absolutely right. Uh, the winner of this game will play against Argentina A. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Uh, Brazilian A already lost to, Brazil, to Argentina A. That's true, but. Uh, they both try, uh, went to the losers bracket, so they obviously will now play each other to see which one goes to the to the grand final to be played against China A. Yeah, if someone is wondering, it is a double elimination setup, um, and here both teams have uh, lost one game in the winners bracket, so this is the second to last match. Of the loser's bracket. The loser here will be placed and fourth and the winner will go against Argentina in the final of the loser bracket, so to say. Yeah, uh, maybe many people maybe don't remember, but Brazil B actually played Argentina A already in the qualification stage and mm -hmm. they won. They won Argentina A. So it will be really nice to see what happens here. If Brazil B goes through, how will they do against Argentina A now? Yeah. Let's see what happens. And the tournament has been going on since mid-April, right? So a lot of things can change in in three months. So well, uh, yeah, you can say that Argentina A team has developed so much since the beginning of this tournament. I, I yeah. that's pretty obvious to me. Yeah, they seem stronger every every match. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, other side. Talking a little bit more of the game looks, yeah, looks like uh, Miguel is being pushed out, uh, pushed off hardly. Yeah. I honestly, I'm, I'm not a fan here for open maps, siege onagers and and halps. You're not really mobile. You can maybe defend, but you cannot gain ground really fast. Um, also, he doesn't have ramps or trebuchets. To, to ram down castles, which is what you should do against Mongols. Well, I, I guess it's just really hard to fight on an open map without paladins. It's really hard to fight Mongols. And yeah. the only one who uh, could be doing paladins is Hans, uh, who got defeated at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So uh, that, that is a very good point. Um, no paladins for Brazil B. That is a huge setback. Yeah. Uh, so it's really, I, I mean, M Mongols, Mangudai are hard, hard to counter, just as it is, and without Pelvins, just gets very, very, very hard. Dogaon is there now with a lot of Paladins. Wrath and Dogaon together might be able to push this back. With, with uh, Mangudai, you mean, yeah? Sorry, yeah, Mig um, Mangudai, and even Miguel is there with um, Siege Honor just now, so they are pushing very hard on this side, while I think Miguel is a little bit neglecting his side. The trade is dying there, in, up in the north. Oof, does Miguel have something to push fire back again? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Does it does not. Miguel has 100 population. Yeah. Look at Miguel's population. Yeah. Dogon is sending something, but it's not gonna be nearly enough. Yeah, and... 
I, I know it is it is stupid to to be so rigid like this is my side and this is your side but I think Dogao should have helped a little here um, well, the thing is, they got very fast in the trade because Fire cut those trees at the edge of the map. Mm -hmm. Good point, he's snuck and, in uh, there. And eventually, yeah. Yeah, it's a GG. I, I think it really is. There was no way they would come back from this game. Yep. Yeah, well, it was pretty clear what happened here. The guy who was being slung, VH, lost very, very soon in the game. And then from that moment, they were basically, uh, well, I would say minus two almost. Mm. I, uh, I'm not sure what was the reason, maybe because Stark helped a little and Fiat was on his own, but then again, what do 8 or 10 plumes with fletching do against plus 2 knights? Not awful lot, but anyway, check the achievements. I wonder yeah. what... Uh, oh yeah, sorry, uh, Tuff was writing something on the yeah, game room, yeah. I wondered... To download a plugin, I guess. Um, I'll take a look in a few sec. Kans, largest army for Stark, 82 with Mayans, makes sense. Tribute, 14,000 slung by Goku, only 5,500 by Wrath, that is not so much. Fiat in total received 9,500. Uh, who else was slinging? Was was Miguel slinging too, or was that just late game? Not sure, but Wrath here, I don't understand that. He got army really late and only slung. Well, he, he obviously he had to stop. He had to stop the sling, right? Because VH was dead, mm -hmm. and he was double walled. So he he obviously had to stop the sling very soon and, and because Goku someone continued. had to be on the game yeah. on that side. Yeah, Th that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. because someone uh, someone had to be alive on that side. They couldn't yeah. just uh, let the whole side go down. Right. Um, let's go back and see what Toph is saying. 